you record while while the bus is moving, or does it have to come to a stop? Yeah, well, you... sometimes they don't want to, and they're you know, Gaga, we can't get you know the the frequency's weird, and you know it's sounding a little bit strange, and I'm like, if you don't get this right now, I swear to Lucifer, I'm gonna you know I get a little bit mad. Do you have a... I swear to Lucifer. <laughs> have 16,000 people in there and none of them would be gay. So are gay people also included? Absolutely. Anybody is. You know, you know, Oprah, we sometimes make a, I say we, maybe the Christian community makes a bigger deal out of gay, out of being gay, but. Will a gay person be accepted into heaven as you see it? Well, I believe they will. Will a gay person be accepted into heaven, as you see it? Well, I believe they will. hundreds of marriages but none of them are shown as between you know the same sex and again I'm not against anything but I just believe that's what the Bible teaches and that's how we've chosen to Don't you feel a bit uneasy that the sort of the last person I heard speaking like this was Mahmoud Ahmadinejad he's a president of Iran who says there are no gay people in Iran and it's a terrible sin and curse I mean Victoria what, what do you think of all this the, the, the gay marriage debate I mean could you ever imagine attending a gay marriage between two people who come to your church for example if they invited you well, I think if it was that easy, that we would have figured it out by now. But it's been overthrown, states go for it, and then they overthrow well, it. And it's so, an so it's very okay. difficult for people. But accepting an invitation people. is easy. So would you accept one or not? To, would I accept one? Two gay people who attend your church invite you to their wedding. Um, sure, I would go. You would? Well, I don't, you know, if sure. I had time, could you go? I would. <laughs> if they were friends of mine, yeah. and I respect them, I would certainly go. You would watch I'll two people you think are sinners committing the ultimate sin. Well, I'm looking at it, well, I don't think it's the ultimate sin, but I'm looking at it from another point of view of respect to that person. And you know, it's, you know, it gets convoluted, but I'm looking at it as respect to that person. Could you, could you in your position actually actively encourage people to go through a same-sex marriage? Could you be seen to do it? Could you be photographed at such an event? Well, I would, would that not. that not cause you problems? without excuse because that when they knew God they glorified him not as God neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened professing themselves to be wise they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, 
and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who, knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. May the Lord be with you. And again, I am not a conspiracy theorist. I am a pastor that see the wolves. And I am warning you from the rooftop where they at. And they right here in front of you. And do you love to have it so? If you do, cut it off. Peace. Please subscribe to the Pastor's Chronicles, hit the subscription, hit the bell so you can get updates. And also, I want to share with you my other page because a lot of people say, Pastor, I get it. You know, I appreciate everything you're doing, but we need some teaching, some gospel teachings. So if you look here, the past Pastor Scott Hinton, this is the gospel message that I'm presenting. This is my other page. You can actually, if you go back to the Pastor's Chronicles and you scroll down, first you got to hit, if you're watching like a video or something like uh, Snoop Dogg's Satanic Gospel Album, you know, you can click the Pastor's Chronicles. And then when you pick the, the Pastor's Chronicles, you scroll down, bam, there go Pastor Scott Hinton. Subscribe, hit the subscription there. Or you can actually click on it and it'll take you to my other page. And there, you will learn about the Bible. You have Bible studies and go deep into understanding the will of God. All right. May the Lord bless you and share this message. And also check me out on tpchronicles.com. That's my platform. That's my website. So you can enjoy more of truths and read articles and things of that nature. All right. And you can also go to my church website, amcministries.com, amcministries.com, and it's kind of like my gospel channel. It goes a little deeper with um, Bible study, so subscribe to that too. All right, peace.